What if I told you that you can travel to all beautiful places in Europe you have always dreamed of and you can study any program at the top universities while not having to desperately count money and be financially secure during your two-year study program? Then search more. Everything is going to be explained in this video. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you what is Erasmus Mundus joint master degree program. I would like to also share with you who can apply, how you can apply, when to apply and how does the thing with scholarship works. So let's do it. My name is Lenka and I'm personally enrolled in tourism and culture development program. I currently finished my second semester and I have two semesters to go. My program is quite specific in when I tell some friends what I study, no one really understands. So what is the Erasmus Mundus? Erasmus Mundus is usually a partnership of three or more universities which share a common program. For instance, in my case, first semester I studied in University of Glasgow, the second semester I studied in Malta at the University of Malta and the third semester I had the option to choose between University in Lisbon and Lund University in Sweden. I personally chose Sweden because Lund is among the 100 best universities around the world. So as you can see, in Erasmus Mundus there are a lot of excellent universities. What you can actually study? In 1st of October each year you can go to a catalog of Erasmus Mundus programs and there you can find what programs you can actually study. Of course, it pretty much depends on what you have studied in your bachelor and what is your major. But some master programs, I forgot to mention, Erasmus Mundus is only about master programs, so it's a full master program. So you're not going to apply through your university, you are going to see the catalogs and there you will click on the certain program and there you can open a certain website which is going to give you more description of the certain program. It will tell you where you will be studying, what will be the requirements for your admission, what is the price and so on. I chose three programs. Everyone is able to apply only for three programs. If you apply for more, you're automatically expelled from the admission process to any other university. So three programs are the maximum and it is important that you finish your bachelor degree before you apply for the program. You have two options if you want to study the Erasmus Mundus. Firstly, you apply for a scholarship, which usually the deadlines close around first week in January and then you're waiting for the admission if you're accepted or if you're not accepted and if you get if you got scholarship or not second option is that basically until the end of may until the end of april it pretty much varies depends on the program you apply as a self-funded student but be quite careful because those programs are very expensive i know that maybe for the american students or for canadians it might get actually still cheaper than staying in the US, but for me, as I'm from the Czech Republic, universities are completely for free. So those programs can cost anything from 7,000 pounds or 7,000 euro and up for uh, the two years program. Uh, all of those information you will have to find in the program description. Anyone can apply. Erasmus Mundus is actually supporting the education and providing opportunities to people from all around the world. So if you're from Nigeria or if you're from Greece, you both can apply. But people outside of European Union have a little bit more probability to get a scholarship. This is because European Union wants to support very smart, intelligent, uh, talented people to bring them to Europe. So who can apply for Erasmus Mundus? Firstly, you have to finish your bachelor degree. It doesn't matter what, but it has to be a bachelor degree. You have to have a bachelor degree certificate. And then that's pretty much, that's it. But 
Of course, it's really good if you have a really nice portfolio of your previous experience, but this will this will pretty much depend on the program and on the people who are um, getting through your application. So in my case, I didn't have to write any exam or any examination. Uh, for me, the only requirement was to provide my passport, to provide my bachelor certificate, to provide my birth certificate. But besides that, of course, the university documents were um, transcription of all my grades during the university and a motivational letter, which was about three pages, two recommendation letters. And that's it. That's it. I, it took me around one month and a half to get all of this done because I wanted to have it perfect and with this video I want to say thank you everyone who helped me out with reviewing and with reading, proofreading my um, motivational letter. But it really depends if you're applying maybe for engineering or for a mathematics, maybe you have to write some sort of exam, I don't know, you will find it through the application. But I am telling you one thing, you don't have to have a perfect grades. I didn't have them. I never really worried about having like A's or 100% from my exams. I was more about like enjoying the process, enjoying also the university life. So I was never really a nerd and my grades were from one till like barely passing. I really had everything. If I could have done this, I could be an accepted you can be too. Uh, there is an, an official statistic which is saying that around 5% probability that you will get a scholarship. So this is again, it's unofficial, but this is quite low. Well, I was among those lucky ones. I was accepted actually for all three programs, but only from one of the uh, ones I got a scholarship which is quite funny, uh, the program I got a scholarship, I wanted to go to the least one, so I actually uh, put the least um, effort into my motivational letter, because of course I did motivational letter um, tailored to each program, so I didn't make like copy paste to all three programs, but I was accepted and I got a scholarship, so for me it made kind of sense to go with the program where I got a scholarship and not with the other ones because the other ones were quite expensive and as I said I I grew up in a country where universities are for free so for me paying like 20,000 pounds in total for the studies plus all the flights and plus all the accommodation and everything this was too expensive and I didn't consider it as a beneficial for me. About 75% of all scholarship are received by people from partnership countries. Those are the ones outside of European Union. But if you're really good, I really think you will be accepted. And what is this scholarship about? So probably you know the Erasmus, which is just for uh, one semester or for two semesters. It again, it varies pretty much if you're in Bulgaria or if you're going to Norway. In Norway, you obviously get a little more because the standards are higher and the prices are higher. Here, the scholarship, it's the same. It varies only on your residency address. So if let's say you're from Czech Republic, as I am, you get only certain amount of travel cost to the university, whereas my friends who are, for instance, from Brazil, they get double, uh, they, they get a double of the travel cost scholarship because Brazil is much more far away and you need to travel more and you need to pay more, obviously, than if you travel from the Czech Republic. Is this scholarship actually worth it? Is worth to trying it? Well, I think it really is because it not only covers your tuition fees, which are really expensive, it also covers you two years of full insurance. So anywhere you go, well, in the countries, definitely where you study, it covers your insurance. Thirdly, it gives you a monthly allowance money. In my case, it's around 1000 euro. They signed it in the pounds. So sometimes it's a little bit less, but it's still around this price. And it also includes not only the four semesters of the university, it also includes all the activities university is providing and also a summer school, which in my case, 
uh, it's in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, due to COVID reasons, it takes place online. But again, this is not a problem. This is not a um, problem of the university. The students which are not from the European Union, again, let's say South America, Africa, Asia, they get also at the beginning something like a settlement costs, which can be up to 3000 euro, which seems like a lot, but be aware of the visa process and visa costs. So I think it all makes sense. But what I would like to share with you, this is amazing, amazing opportunity for those who love to travel, but they kind of don't want to choose between education and program, master program, going to university and traveling. This is really a combination of both. And you don't have to, you know, as during the normal programs, you study two semesters and you're hoping to travel for one semester somewhere. Here, you basically travel every single semester. So in my case, I am going to study in three universities and I'm going to receive a very attractive diploma, which I believe it will enrich me in many ways and in my career. What do I think about the university? This one you will find out in another video. Thank you for watching. I would be really happy if you write me some feedback or if you're missing something in this video. It was very short overview about what is Erasmus Mundus, who can study it, how to apply, where to apply and what is the scholarship about. Thank you very much.